Snuggled in. Be windy out. Be fun setting a tent up. is a little brutal it's probably in the 20s with the wind chill but this place is nice doesn't have any commodities got a porta potty up there and a uh, fire pit little pad nice picnic table and you have spots all around you're not close there's like six spots over here and then directly in front of me that way you have more spots over there so I'm going to get this set up have Charles talk to you I know of putting it up. Hey, it's coming along. Alright, this is where I have to get the tank over the hatch. And then I'm about to go in. On the sides. You're supposed to put it all up and then back up to it. But I find this just as easy. Okay, minor adjustment. Give me more room. Getting set up. Going on about an hour and a half. That wind was a bear. But we're getting there. I think we picked a pretty good 
good spot. This will be nice in the spring, early fall. All right, this wildlife recreation area is supposed to have about 5,000 acres of lake, 23 miles hiking trails and equestrian uh, trails for horses. There are no hookups here, no electric sites, so it's all dry camping, it's all free. The wind has died down some. So I'm gonna sit down, relax, eat some beef jerky, have something to drink, and share some warmth with Everest. But, uh, but I plan on uh, doing some hiking around here. I'm not gonna sit around all day. Just check the place out. Can't drive, <laughs> can I? Nope. All right, Happy Charles, talk to you in a few. All right, pretty much got it set up. Everest is all bundled up. I have two military sleeping bags, three blankets. It's going to be in the 20s tonight. I do have a candle to keep the uh, coldness out. And I do have a little buddy heater. What you doing, bud? He's my little buddy heater. Yeah. No, I don't want him to get cold, so I do have a heater. Oh, it's a propane little buddy heater. But, this is how it's all set up. And it is 11.21. Yeah. This is a really nice sight. I like it. Bunch of the fishing's good out here. Surely stocking well. Like spots over on those points by the dock. You have more the trains over there. Outhouses over that way. There's another spot right there. And on that side, by the U-Haul, uh, got a spot over there, a spot over there. I think there's five spots over on that side, and a boat ramp. And there's the uh, dam over there. And I got a port potty right over there. I'm not going to set up my port potty. It's just too windy. I don't think that uh, little uh, hut, green hut, could handle it. No, it's sort of picture. You can just see what it's like, but it works well. We used it out in New Mexico. But I've been busy. I'm going to sit down, relax, have something to drink. Some beef jerky. Good morning, everyone. It's a little frosty. Whew. Wind's picking back up. Put some tin foil around the stove to deflect some of the wind. But I'm gonna go back inside where it's warm. It's a chilly one this morning. That wind's kicking. I say it's supposed to get up in the 40s by two o'clock. I'm hoping. I'm hungry. Hungry 
like a bear. Like it was going to be that cold. You know, should have brought them. around here then we're going to do the Dutch oven pineapple upside down cake I'm really looking forward to that a uh, range here, gun range, but uh, you can only use rifle, I don't allow pistols. And I'm not sure on the hours you'd have to check on that. I'm not sure if somebody's camping in that you all over there or what. And there's wildlife observation areas. Well, this spot, you can get a trailer in. Easy. Right up to the lake. Like this spot right here. They're not numbered, so I can't tell you what number this is.
two more spots over there. I really like the way they built these points. Put a big table out there so you can do fishing. This was well thought out. This growth. Right, the wind died down for just about the whole walk. Now we're back and it starts back up. All right, this is the water system. I can either have it hooked up to power so where the pump pumps it, or I could have it gravity. I'm right over there, and that's where the U-Haul is with a, I believe a yellow Mustang. I'm not sure if they were affected by that tornado in Morgansville. Uh, they're just camping. It's a nice area. I wish there was a trail around the lake, but there isn't. All right, this is the last of the camp spots on the south side. Got another one over there. But there's no porta potties close by. And only old cypress. It's really turning into a nice day. I'm really surprised, but I'm really happy too. Uh, to, uh, really didn't get much sleep last night. Trying to get some pictures in and cold. Worrying about Everest, making sure that he was warm. But it's nice out now. All right, this spot has a hard pad. Looks like an old foundation. Some steps over there and foundation blocks. You have two picnic tables. RV here. This actually would be a good spot too. It's got a turnaround, which isn't too bad. You can back it right in. 
it's level. All right, that loop right there, that's a pretty hard turn. Uh, trying to think of how you could get a 30 foot in here it's really nice that they have these spread out Hey, I'm Randy and welcome to after another adventure today we're going to be cooking in the Dutch oven we're going to be making a pineapple upside down cake it takes about uh, 30 minutes once you have everything prepped inside the Dutch oven and you have your coals ready so we're gonna use pineapple rings vegetable oil your favorite cake mix cup and a half of brown sugar, half a cup of butter, three eggs, and I'm going to use the uh, pineapple liquid juice for uh, the water substitute. And if I need to add more, I'll just add water to it. And that's what we're going to be doing this afternoon. We're here at Higginson and Henry WMR. It's ran by the fish wildlife all right first thing we're going to get ready is uh the butter and the brown sugar i'm going to put a half a cup in here Let's see. now we're going to add the brown sugar now i lined the dutch oven with uh, some tin foil it's easier to get out easier to clean There goes my cup and a half. It calls for two cups, but since I'm using the pineapple juice, uh, I figured that would be sweet enough. All right, I'm gonna set this by the fire, let this melt some. Right, we're back. We caramelized. Now we need to add the pineapple. Do this carefully. golden eggs as it is today. It's outrageous.
All right. Whisk this, stir it around. I brought a whisk. Guess this will do. Okay, for the baking of this 12 inch Dutch oven, uh, you want 16 coals up on top, eight on the bottom, and depending on weather, the humidity, the wind, how cold it is, will dictate how fast it'll cook and how slow it'll cook. Uh, um, it's, you know, it's gonna be a lot of practice and uh, timing. Don't open the lid until uh, at least 15, 20 minutes out and you can start smelling it cooking. And that if you open it too soon, you're gonna release all that heat that's inside and it's just gonna take longer and you might end up burning it. But give this a few more stirs and you pour this in gently, try to not disturb anything. And it looks like cake batter. And while this is cooking, I'll uh Oh, a lot of deer over there. Well, this is cooking. Sorry, got sidetracked. Um, well, this is cooking. Uh, um, I'm gonna make some announcements. Uh, I'm really ecstatic about them. So, let's get this cooking. Oh yeah, this lays right in there. Try to get it even. Okay, our uh, next weekly Dutch oven recipe will be a Supreme Pizza. If you have any recipes that you'd like to see, try. Just uh, submit them to our website after another venture.net. There's a page on it. You just submit it and we'll do our best. And if uh, we submit one of your recipes, uh, you'll get a free t shirt. All right. That looks good. All right, put the lid on. Now we're gonna have the sour coals. All right, I'm getting ready to wash my dishes and uh, I'm using the sprayer container that we bought uh, back when we went to uh, North Carolina. And uh, told you I'd be using it again. All right, I just have it strapped up on a, uh, my roof rack and ran the hose down here, got it plugged in at my battery source. It was frozen this morning. It's cool. So it said it cost me about $120 at uh, 15 gallons. And a lot of people buy the uh, off-road, you know, um, water tubes with a pump, or they can uh, air, or they can air them up 
and use uh, air pressure, push out the water. But they spend a lot more money. This is it's just as well. A lot cheaper. That's more water. Time to wash dishes. Alright, I place some coals on the bottom. If there are briquettes, it be like six to eight in a uh, circle. And then up on top, and then you want to put uh, 14 to 18, depending on the weather. Um, as I said before, in the size of your Dutch oven. That briquettes are a uh, more dense coal, will burn hotter, will burn longer. Um, so you'll probably get good results out of it your first first try. 1242. It's about 10 after. About 30 minutes. And with this wind, I'm gonna have to really monitor it. Right, so till then, happy trails. It's been a baby. We'll check out the uh pineapple upside down cake. See how that is. And I'm really sorry if uh, the wind has really affected the audio on this. What? But uh, we'll check that out and see how that goes. So for now, happy trails. Hey, welcome to After Another Adventure. I'm Randy. Um, I'm re redoing this. I'm redoing the announcement. When I was at Higginson in Henry uh, Campground, the wind was just too, too to intolerable and it uh, really picked up the wind noise bad. So I'm going to do the announcement here in the uh, toy hauler where there is no wind and the sound will be a lot better. But for the big announcement, and that I'm going to be retiring after 27 and a half years and that it's time to leave the job and that um, it's bittersweet but it is what it is and we're going to uh, start doing a lot more uh, adventures and that we got one planned in April we're going to Big Bone Lake do not laugh it is a state park and it's a archaeological uh, park for dinosaurs It'll be pretty neat. The girls are coming along on that trip. In our uh, May trip, we're going to go to Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota. It's going to be a ge geological uh, rock formation adventure. And we're going to do that for 16 days. Really looking forward to that. And I was checking out the um, <laughs> astrophotography calendar. It'll be really good for Milky Way. Now I don't have wind noise, but I have barking noise. Stop! <laughs> and then, um, we got some other trips planned out and we're really gonna start getting more involved. Then in September, end of September, I'm going to go work at the Sugar Beet Harvest. It's two week gig and it's, Probably 60 to 70 percent RVers who uh, work this harvest. Uh, they set you up and pay for your site, your electric, your water, your sewage, all that. And uh, it's 12, 12 hour days and seven days a week for two weeks or till the harvest is done, depending on the weather, stuff like that. So that, it's gonna be a different adventure and I'm looking forward to that, plus it's really good pay. Really looking forward to this year. Um, a lot of neat things happening. And uh, when am I retiring? June. Yeah! Uh, really looking forward to that. Counting the days down. That's the big announcement and I'm ecstatic about it. I'm really happy. We're going to make this one hell of an adventure this year. And follow along, come along. 
subscribe, like, share, leave your comments. Tell me where you'd like to see, what, what you want to see. And I really thank you uh, for following along, for subscribing, for supporting our channel. Thank you very much. Happy trails. Be safe. Be kind. That definitely looks good. Oh, here goes. Thumbs up. Ever slides it. All right. I really do appreciate everybody follows me and subscribed. Oh man, Barry. I cherish that. And if you like the content, you're new to the channel, and that please like and subscribe and share it. Uh, to, um, we got a lot of good things happening. So I'm going to test this out, see how it is. And we'll talk to you later. Happy trails. Gonna see Kansas, Nebraska. Yeah, this is the section that we gonna camp at next. I like that. Here's the trailheads. This is the trailheads right here. Horses, people, bikes, that's it. Well, we didn't even make it over to the uh, other section. There's another section that uh, where the gun range is. More hiking trails. And we'll definitely be back. This is a really nice area. I'm really surprised I haven't heard of this before. Higginson and Henry. And the lake is Maui's Lake. I think I pronounced that right. Don't quote me on it. Okay. But, um, I'm glad you came along. I hope you enjoyed everything. Besides being cold, uh, it wasn't that bad. Hal Everest was more perky today, and I was happy with that. So, it's time to head home and uh, unpack, clean up, chill out. Monday's a new week. So, happy trails, everybody. And next time, we'll make it over to the uh, gun range. Hopefully, bring a rifle. That is Lake Mousey Road. This county, Union County. It's cold. Well, Union County's got some big bucks, guarantee you that. <laughs>